Okay, today I'm going to wire up the solar charger from EcoWorthy with my lithium battery right here. But there's one thing I'd like to ex explain first. You should always get inline fuses. The fuses will go from your battery on the positive to your positive on the charger, the battery right here. And I'll show you how to do that. You can pick up a bag like this for $14. There's a lot more that come in the package on Amazon. For fourteen dollars, and then you can get a little box of fuses over here that has half an amp, one amp, two amp, three amp, four amp, five, six, and eight, ten, and fifteen amp fuses. I'll slide it up there. So this is basically what it is. It comes like that. There's no fuses. There's no fuses in this package. But uh, select the fuse that you want. I already have one selected out. And you just want to set it right in here. Hold that. Oops. It might get lost there a couple times and just twist it shut. Okay, perfect. This is the battery I'm using. I'm just going to set that off to the side for now. And this is the charger from EcoWorthy. It's a model XMYK3220. Specs are 24, uh, 12 to 24 volts, 20 amps max. As you can see, it has the terminals right here. Solar panel, battery, and auxiliary. Always remember this step. Always hook the battery up first, and then you hook up the solar panel. And then you hook up your power, either it be from here or from the USB ports, which are quite handy to have. So I'm gonna show you how to connect this. Always double check the polarity, which one's positive or negative. This one right here, we're going to attach right here, as you can see on the camera. The battery is in the middle, so if you need to count over, that's positive, negative, positive. So one, two, three. You always want to make sure that it's in the correct places. And it might help you if you use a magnetic screwdriver when you're doing this. That way you're not catching it every time you drop it. So you want to take your fuse end with the terminal and on the other end for the battery. Just go like that. And then you want to bend it a bit without breaking it. So let's take the screwdriver. We'll hold this right here. And if it takes you a few times, make sure uh, you do it over and over until you get it in there correctly. You don't want to be able to pull it off or fall off because it can become a hazard. So. That's connected to the positive right there. And that will go to the battery when we're done. Now, I already have a wire made up. You want it to, this is the negative wire. It would go from here to here. So, it would go from there to there. So, once again, double check everything's good right there. The sequence is very important. Do your battery first, and then you do the, the solar panel terminals. So we're gonna curve it like that. Okay, lift this back up. Make sure negative, the polarity is negative. Yep, definitely, always. Lithium battery fires can be very dangerous. Are very dangerous, so you have to be very careful. Take the extra time, there's no rush. Like I said, use a magnetic screwdriver. Make sure it's tight. It's tight. Okay, so that's connected. This is the battery right here. It's an Eco Worthy Life 04. Uh, 12 volt, 10 ah uh, lithium iron phosphate battery. It's only 2.4 pounds, even less than that. It doesn't even feel like it's that heavy. So this is what we're going to be connecting the terminals into. Always make sure the polarity is correct. You do not want to have the positive and negative on the wrong side. You can cause, you can damage your equipment, you can cause fires, you can cause major short circuits. So let's go ahead and connect that. So positive, Let's just bring that over here. Positive, and then we just take the negative 
I'm using red. I'm sure you will probably want to use black. That's all they had in stock. Let me turn that on. It's connected. 13.3 volts. That's outstanding in that battery right now. Just to show you. 13.3. We're going to show it on the mo meter too. See what that says. The ohm meter. Multimeter. Whatever you'd like to call it. So always remember um, that you want to do the right polarity when you're reading correctly. So positive to positive and negative to negative. So we got 13.28, 13.29, the over 13 volts. This is going to round up because it's digital or round down, whatever the nearest number is. But uh, I'll teach you something. If forever you see a minus on here, and I'll show you what a, min a, fault, a minus would look like, that means your wiring is backwards and you need to immediately turn it off. That means if that has a minus right here on your ohmmeter, that means these wires are uh, wired up cr incorrectly. For example, on the ohmmeter, just keep an eye on it. Let's pull this off. Let's make it light for you. So this is the way it should look. There's no negative over here, but this is what it would look like if it was wired wrong. You can see a negative right there. That negative means there's a wire issue. How do I simulate this? I just took the probes and I just put red it. I read the negative and positive backwards, which isn't going to damage the unit. So, and that's what it should look like right there. Is no no negative. All right, perfect. So we're getting voltage coming out of here about. 13.28 volts, which is good. Let's save that. All right, so now I'm going to disconnect this and we're going to connect the solar panel to the unit. I'm going to move this battery off to the side. So this is a line coming from my solar panel. It has quick connect on the other end, but I choose not to use the quick connect. It has a quick connect to the solar panel, so there's no voltage in these lines right now. At all. There's no voltage in these lines right now. This company does offer these quick connects where I believe blue is positive and uh, brown is negative. But this is great for the applications that they offer too for their other solar panel units. I'm not going to be using this in this project. As you can see, once more, it's one of these. I'm just using a direct line right from the solar panel. Like I said before, always make sure your line is fused. Grab your screwdriver. You might want to take both screws at once. That way, if you're a fast, efficient worker, you have it right. Always take your time. Make sure the polarity is correct. When you're working on here, red is positive, black is negative, okay? So you just want to twist these a bit, then the cable, the pull, the solar cable. And just curve it like that. And let me just twist that at the end. Always make sure there's no power coming into this, into your solar panel when you're working on it. So as you can see, I make a sort of a hoop upside down you. And then you just hold it there. While you screw that in place. And make sure it's pretty tight. It's wrapped around there. Now you want to do the same with the black one. And if you need more room, all, all means just take your scissors, your scissors, your wire cutters and cut it, or strip it a little bit longer. Because it's kind of difficult if you need an extra millimeter or two and there's not enough room so don't be cutting your wires just extend them hold that in there as you turn it okay perfect all right so we have the solar panel connected as you can see, we're negative to negative, positive to positive. The battery, as you can see, positive. Always make sure it's fused. Highly recommend having a fused. 
and the negative this goes to the battery as you can see auxiliary i'm not going to be using auxiliary my projects are mostly usb it's great that it has two usb chargers on here so we're going to bring back that battery and put it back to other settings okay so this is the battery i'll be using and once again got to pay attention closely to the polarity okay you don't want to you do not want to have a lithium fire they can become quite dangerous really quickly so move that over there let me take the positive always double check positive connect it take the negative connect it just need to connect my solar panel adapters on the other end clip okay so as you can see we're running a 13.3 volts that's how much power is in here the solar panel is connected because that's right there so it's charging the battery too we're going to lift this up so when you lift that up just remember this is live so you kind of don't want to put your fingers on there because i mean that could cause some problems for you go electrocuted you short out your equipment too damage your equipment so we're going to see how much voltage is coming in from the solar panel so the solar panels on this line it goes out to over there there's just a test unit a test panel that i'm using for this project so let's just see on the ohm meter if there's any uh power coming into that keep it on the blue screen so we want it a positive positive negative negative this is coming in from outside so we got 15.1 volts coming in right now as you can see on the multimeter screen over here right there 15.1 15 you'll see it fluctuate from time to time because the panels inside well just inside the window this is where i do all my testing it's not the same as it would be in the field i'll be getting a full voltage now let's check the battery let's just turn this back on for you guys all right positive negative the battery has 13.28 volts in it so yeah it's pretty close it rounds up and on, down on the screen and yeah that's it that's all that there is to hooking up the solar panel charger um a couple things that's very important mentioned before always use a fuse on the positive to there to prevent any shorts and the, of course the correct fuse for whatever system your requirements require over here and yeah the terminals make sure you put the terminals in the next video i'll show you how to do that on the terminals but it's good to go our product is working great i will show you a drain on it as you can see right now it's 13.3 i'm going to add a wireless security camera to it simple as that and now it's booting and you'll probably notice excuse me 3.2 it will go down quite a, a little bit but not much and if you take a look at the ohm meter it's still bringing in voltage from outside you got 15.1 that's all solar power and as you can see right here 13.2 it's still charging into the battery the battery's full and this is the battery 3.2 on here and on the ohm meter it's 3.26 so give or take some and that's it that this security camera is running off solar power. And this is inside. So if I was outside, the voltage would be much higher. This is, like I said before, for testing purposes. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask away in the comment box below. Don't be afraid to get involved with this. This whole kit is quite inexpensive and it works well so i've been testing it for seven days i have not encountered any issues at all with the system just remember to not cross the positive and negative regardless the solar panel the battery put that down add a fuse to the line they do come some of the units do come with the, the connectors right on the end without the fuses i highly recommend removing that or adding an inline adding a, a fuse to the line just to be safe because you can't be with it all the time so if something does happen it'll blow the fuse for you anyways thank you very much for watching this video if you enjoyed this video please like subscribe and share have a great day